This video is for the standard operating procedure of the FTIR 4100 for solid samples. The first step in this process is to make sure that the computer is turned on. At this point, there is no login password or username. There are two switches on the FTIR machine. The one on the back should already be turned on. The one on the top needs to be changed to the on position. If you had to turn it on, wait for the machine to beep before opening the computer program. After the FTIR machine has been turned on, locate the Spectrum Manager icon located on the desktop and double click. From here, under the solids FTIR, double click the Spectrum measurement. It will say Initializing Instrument. This will open your Spectrum measurement window. From here, go ahead and clean the staging area on the FTIR to ensure a clean background. To clean the staging area of the FTIR, put isopropyl alcohol onto a clean chem wipe and then wipe down the staging area in a circular motion. Also ensure that you clean the top portion that will be compressing your sample. Once it is clean, proceed to tighten down the staging area using the coarse adjustment knob only until finger tight. Once the staging area is cleaned on the FTIR, you can start to run your background. This is located in the Spectra measurement window. It will be a green B with a red underline. After you have clicked it, you will see a green progress bar at the bottom. After it has completed running the background, it will say ready. Now that your background is completed, you can go back to the FTIR machine and reopen the staging area to insert your sample. Only a small portion of sample is needed. Once you have placed it onto the staging area, condense it over the crystal. Then once again, tighten down the staging area using the coarse adjustment knob. Only tighten down until finger tight. At this point, you should have run your background and placed your sample onto the staging area. You can run your sample by clicking on the blue S with a red underline labeled sample measurement. Once again, you will see a green progress bar at the bottom and it will say ready when it has finished. After it has completed, if another window has not popped up automatically, go to File, Analysis, Send. This will open up another window labeled Spectra Analysis. First, your option is to run an auto baseline on your sample. This will straighten out any of your data. No adjustments are needed. Click OK. As you can see, this opens up a second window. In view one, this is your original sample. In view two, this is after you have done the auto baseline. From here, you want to do an ATR correction. No adjustments are needed. Click OK. From here, you may want to find the peaks that are on your sample. Under the open file, there is a button that will say peak find. Click it. From here, you can hit apply, and as you can see, nothing below this green line will have a peak on it. You will need to adjust it or lower it in order to find all of your peaks. The red tip at the end of each peak will indicate where it will be giving you a measurement. If you need more peaks on your spectra, you can decrease the noise level at the top. Hit apply. As you can see, the number of red lines has increased. If you need less peaks identified, increase the noise level and hit apply. And as you can see, the number of red peaks decreased. The benefit of this is when you click OK and go back to your spectra, the wave number will be located on your data and there will be less overlapping. From here, before you print your analysis, go to Edit and Comment. From here, you can give your sample a name or any other information that you need printed. After that, you can print your sample by going to File, Print. This analysis that is done will not be automatically saved on the computer. If you do need to save it, go to File and Save at a location that you'll be able to find. This is what your printed analysis will look like. 
It will have your peak identifications, as well as any comments that you added. After you have run your sample and printed the analysis, you will need to clean the staging area. Do so by first loosening the course adjustment knob. Once again, you will be using isopropyl alcohol on a clean chem wipe to pick up as much of the sample as possible. If needed, use more than one chem wipe to ensure that the sample is not swept out onto the floor. Ensure that the top and bottom portion of the staging area are clean and free from any sample. And this is the end of the standard operating procedure for the FTIR.